Hello and welcome to Themathon. Welcome to the grand finale of this insane marathon that we had over the weekend. We see Metako here, who is going to run the, not sponsored by the way, Raid Shadow Legends, which have never been in a marathon before. So that's going to be extremely hype. Um, yeah. Say hello and start and tell me whenever I have to go and press the button. Cool. Okay. So, um, hi everyone. Uh, gosh. Yeah. I, I'm a taco. I play video games. Okay. So this is Rich Shadow Legends. Um, so the, to get clarify on the first question, the reason why you don't see the game feed is because, um, on a new game boot, uh, time starts when the loading of the game ends. So I actually have to start a fresh like load of the game. Uh, before we can start, uh, but we'll talk about everything as we go. So um, uh, that's when time will start. So I'm hitting play as soon as the loading finishes. Then then time begins. So I've just booted the game, and we should now have the game feed. Okay, so here we go. We're we're waiting. We're waiting, and I'll I'll, I'll say I'll say we're unpacking. We're loading. We're loading. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. Time start. Begin. 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 Okay. Welcome. This is Raid Shadow Legends, greatest game in the history of all time. Uh, okay. So this is the tutorial. Um, <laughs> the sound is so light. Oh my god, it's vicious. Okay. Uh, so here are the four characters of lore. This is Gallic, Alhian, Aethel, and Kim. Um, so they're, they're who we're going to save the world with. Uh, this is just some guy in armor, some orky guy. This is Lord of the Rings. Okay. So, um, very, very important. At the beginning of the game, it teaches you the I mechanics. So it's going to be like, oh, you can attack an enemy by clicking on it, and you can use abilities. There are abilities in the bottom right of the screen. Every character typically has two or three. Uh, some have got four or more, whatever, but usually you get three. So um, they're in the bottom right. There's A1, A2, A3 from left to right. Um, so that's what I have to do. So I'm basically mash clicking through everything that the game is telling me to do. Uh, every like round has got three stages, or every stage has three rounds to it. So the third is like typically like a big, big fight or a boss or whatever. So this is the dragon, so we're gonna take him down, um, and that's gonna be pretty cool. So here we go. Um, Elhin's got this. Oh no, she's been eaten alive. That's no, oh, no, tragic. This is the only time this ever happens. It's complete nonsense. Um, so now we we all fight at the same time. So rah, etc. Like Gallic makes jokes and we go pew and shooty and stuff. All right, so that's. That's that, um, basically done. Uh, so now what happens is that Arbiter, who tells the story of the game, is like, oh, I guess they weren't the actual champions. Uh, we'll go again. So I get to choose my champion. My champion's gonna be Kale. Kale is absolutely broken. Uh, and now we're into the base world. So this is the Bastion. This is where you choose all the things and do all the things uh, that don't involve combat. So the first thing we're doing is summoning a champion. This is Sniper. It's always Sniper. It's always yeah, a mystery you? shard. And now we're into the chapter Cam Campaign. So this is Campaign. The category is us going to be well. beating normal Campaign from base game. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do in the bottom left, you can see there's Auto and Times 2. Um, so this is the, the first stage of the campaign, and every campaign has got seven stages, and each stage, like I said before, has got three rounds. So you can see we're on round three of three, and we're about to about to get that done. So beautiful. So then the game will tell us by like showing us the the circles what to click on. So I, I literally am just mashing where the circles are uh, to advance on things. So we just did stage one one, and we got a sword for it. We equipped our sword on Kale, our main character. He'll do more damage. Not actually that important. Um because we're going to be doing other things that are really cool uh, after the fact. So then it takes us to stage 2-2. Two, two. This is all still part of the tutorial. I cannot choose to do anything other than this right now in the game. Okay, so we've just beaten stage 2. We're amazing. We got level 2. We go back to the Bastion. We've now got to go to your champions. Oh, look, we got a helmet. Really cool. Let's equip it. What? That helmet's a life gear. I can upgrade gear and I can make it higher levels. So the first thing we're going to do is raise this to level 4. Again, because we have to, not because we want to. All right, great. So then... <laughs> you click out of the game, and that's fine. Uh, and then we go back in, and then we'll be able to actually play it. So that's uh, that's the introduction. Uh, it's worth noting, you don't actually have to click out of the game. I accidentally hit escape. I wasn't meant to. Okay, right, so here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is collect a bunch of stuff. So we get that. Now we're going to go to our uh, goodie bag pack. So that's going to be... Here, by the way, also because it's a gacha game, there are things that are really easy to click that you don't want to go to. So you have to be like careful about that. So we're going to get these. These are really nice. Get our free rewards. Now we're going to go into the Call of the Arbiter Limit series. So this is really cool. So this is going to be uh, a little bit annoying for a bit. So this is what happens. So we're going to go through each of these. We're going to click on a video that allows me to get um, the rewards for it, which is money. And then we go to the next episode. So now I'm currently loading YouTube videos in the background on a, on a browser. Um, and then once I watch the video, I can get the money. And then once I click, 
share video or share episode and copy, I can then get the rewards for it, even if I don't actually share it. So you don't have to share it on Facebook or X. You can literally just go um, <laughs> and you can just click copy and then and then do that. So all those videos are now loading in the background. I've got about 10 browsers. Uh, we've got 10 of these to go through. So let's get all my money, share them just by copying, collect everything. Da 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 da. Everything's great. Grand. There's my glyph. There's my energy. Everything's wonderful. More money. Oh no, I forgot to share this. This is really important. I get bruised energy from this one. Okay, we're in the last one. Money. Share. Boom. Chicken. Energy. Okay, so that's done. So like the next step, uh, we're gonna go into. Uh, we're gonna go promo codes. We're gonna go Monkey King in capitals. This is gonna get me our main character for the run. That's gonna be Sun Wukong. He's absolutely broken as all goodness. Okay, great. So we've done that. So now we're gonna go out of the things that we don't need to go into. Player info. We're gonna change our username. Uh, theme Athon. Please let me have it. Woohoo! All right, that gets me stuff. Right, so we've done that. We're also going to change our avatar. I like to use Kale because he's like the main character that we're using. Uh, and we're able to, to carry on. Right, so now we're going to go to our inbox and we're going to collect everything. So we've got our money, brew, energy, things, multi battles. Don't need to worry about all that kind of stuff. Oh, look, we can go to the shop and get free stuff. It's glyphs and money and things. Yay! Okay, now to the champions. So we're going to select our main character, Wukong. We're going to unlock and we're going to lock. Okay, we're now going to upgrade our offense weapon. Boom! Equip. And we're going to upgrade it to level 12. In the base game, you can only upgrade it to level 8, and then as you get the different levels, you're able to do 12 and 16. 16 is the highest level you can upgrade a piece of gear to. So the reason why we're going to level 12 is every four levels, you get a new substat on your thing. So my weapon here, it's rare is because it's blue. It's four stars. Six is the highest, one is the lowest, so that's pretty good. And my upgrade chance is now medium. That's why it's now failing a little bit. But we should absolutely be fine on being able to get us up to level 12. So now I have to manually click as we go. So you can see right now it's at level 9. My first substat is speed. Speed is awesome. That's actually really good. HP percent. Percentage stats generally are better than flat stats. So I'm actually quite happy with this. The speed's great. But the reason I'm mainly doing this is actually for the, the, the raw stats, not actually for the uh, the substats. Uh, in a normal game, you like substats matter quite a lot, and speed's very good. Uh, okay, great, so we've got level 12 on our axe, let's go out of that and let's get our shield on, and we're gonna do exactly the same. Uh, but this time, we're not gonna go to 12, we're only gonna go to eight. We don't need any higher than that. Okay, so now what I would like to do is go to Kale and remove his weapon and put on a, a, a five-star bow. Unfortunately, I actually didn't get the, the good rotation on the Adeline Chase, so I'm get, I got 100 energy instead. 100 energy is great. Uh, it just means that we can't do that. So there's no point in me going into the weapons. Okay, so now we want to go into the playtime rewards. Um... And we're going to collect. Okay, so we've got this. That's great. I don't like notification. Get rid of that. Uh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Da, 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 da. Boom, 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 boom. Got all that. Uh, Playtime rewards, money. Later on, we'll get other things. Okay, so now we're ready to go back into campaign. So here we go. We're now into K Rock Castle. We're going to stage one, three. We're going to get rid of Sniper. We're going to get Wukong in and we're going to fight. Okay, so beautiful. Now we're on stage three. Um, very, very cool. So all I'm going to do is auto through these. So my characters are level one. You can see Kale here, blue level one, Wukong, green level one. Um, the colors are based on affinity. So you get uh, blue affinity is magic. Uh, then you've got force affinity is red. Green affinity is spirit. And the purple one is void. Okay, so now what we do is we want to have, we can have up to three characters in our party now. So actually, we're just going to use some Wukong. We're just going to scrap Kale. We don't need him anymore. Um... In fact, that's actually incorrect. The reason, what we want to do is we want to have Song Wukong in the lead and Kaelin in number two. It's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, and the reason for that is that you typically want your lead to have, um, what do you even call that thing? They get a bonus. Um, so we're going to carry on. We're going to finish the rest of the chapter. So seven stages in each chapter. So let's just bring Kaelin in now. Totally grand and wonderful. Okay, so that's going to take us until we get to the end of this. Um, so you'll get like a buff. Um, the starter champions all have an HP one, so anytime you do a thing, so campaign, dungeons, things like that there, you'll get an HP bonus. Sun Wukong has got a speed bonus, and remember when I said speed's amazing? Speed is amazing, um, and would actually be really good, but unfortunately it only works in the arena, so it's, it's pointless. It don't, we don't get the bonus in campaign mode, um, which is the main reason to have Kale in first slot. Um, the reason why we don't care about that is that Sun Wukong's going to be doing a lot of our work. Okay, so this should get us, I think, level 6, and we're going to go back to the Bastion, and we're going to collect some stuff. Um, so now we're going to go in. Having the, the, oh, yay, look at that, we did it. Woo, we got our free champion. Right, back to the Bastion. Okay, so we're going on to class, uh, daily, claim, weekly, 
claim. Yo, level staff achievements. We can get all of these except one because we're not playing on mobile. Pretty cool. Okay, amazing. Right, let's go back to your champion, Sung Wukong. What are we going to do now? We're going to put on some gear. What did we get? We got really nice three-star gear just from being stage one of the campaign. Huge. What are we going to do now? We're going to we're gonna upgrade it. We're going to get it up to level eight. Why? Because of multiples of four. You know why we're doing this. Okay, so we're going to put the helmet, the gauntlets, the chest plate, and the boots all up to level four. Um... The main reason for putting this on our main character, or our lead, um, Sung Wukong, is because he's going to be our highest level. He's a five-star legendary. Uh, in the same way that you can get one to, f one to six stars on your gear, you get one to six stars on your champions as well. Um, so here we go. Level eight in the gauntlets. Um, Wukong, Sung Wukong starts at five-star. He's a legendary. He could only be one higher, which would be a mythical, which only came in recently to the game. Um, our starter champions, so Kale, uh, Aethel, Alhane, and Gallic are all three stars. They're rares. If I get a four star it's an epic two stars are uncommon and one stars are common um, so in the end of the run we're going to be probably going into the final boss with our one legendary Sung Wukong we're definitely going in with Kale, our rare and we'll probably have two other rares um, in the run we will be using five ancient shards I believe uh, an ancient shard will summon a champion uh, a random champion and a minimum from our ancient shard you will get uh, a rare champion, you've got like a, something like a 4% or 6% chance or something to get an epic, like 1% to get a legendary, 0.5 to get uh, a mythical. Um, so it's very rare to get those, we're not expecting those whatsoever. Okay, so now that we've got this done, we're going to go to Keel, and we're going to give him the weapon and the shield that we got. So we already got that from our uh, playing the game for the first time bonus. So we got our 4-star weapon and shield on Wukong, we're going to put our 3-star on Keel. Not forgetting, if we had have got the 5-star from the Adeline Chase, we would have actually put the 5-star already on. So, uh, important things. When we are equipping champions and de-equipping champions or unequipping champions, um, you equip things for free. If I unequip, it will give me the option to destroy gear or to unequip it and I have to pay silver. So this is where the whole gacha kind of thing comes into it. Um, or I guess it can come into it. So in the top right, you'll see we've got a silver coin and we've got money beside it. I have 869,000 you coins right now are silver. And then to the right of it, I've got gems. So gems is kind of like the paid currency. So I can use money to get more gems. I can use gems to get silver. I can use gems to get shards. I can use gems to get energy, things like that. Energy is the currency that you expend to get things. Well, accuracy and speed on the shield. This is awesome. This is really good. Um, okay, so right now, I've got enough of my uh, enough of my money to do things. And now we're just going to sell uh, this gear just to get some silver that we don't care about. Okay, now because we're level 6, we this can go the to the tavern and this is where we can upgrade things. So, this M barrel is going to instantly take Sung Wukong to max level, which is 50. Shazam! Okay, we're going back to the campaign. Alright, we're in chapter 2. Series of Arnok. Let's rock and roll, baby. Number 1. Boom. That's all we need. Sung Wukong, stage 1. And we're just going to go all the way through the second chapter of the campaign. So a couple of reasons why uh, Sung Wukong is so good as our promo code champ. So there are probably about six different champions that we can get from promo codes for free within the first 24 hours. It's a new player login one. Um, and a lot of it comes down to AoE attacks. So uh, Wukong's A2 and A3 have the potential to do AoE damage. So his A3 always attacks all enemies. His A2, if you kill one enemy, it will then attack all other enemies. So for a lot of this, he opens with the first round with his A his A3, kills all the first wave of enemies. Second wave, he'll attack one, and then he'll proc, kill the rest of them, and then all he has to do is one shot the others. Um, right now, if we did actually have other champions, it would be slow because they would get turns in combat, and they're not going to do as much damage. They're not going to be as useful, and it's going to waste time. So it's not good for us. We don't want to do that. Um, so we've done that. Now, we also did get War Priest. War Priest is a guaranteed rare trampling drop from the first chapter campaign. Um, so uh, we've got her, and we can actually do things with her. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, once we get to the end of chapter, or a campaign, yeah, chapter two, we're going to go into chapter three. And while I'm there, I can actually go into the champion menu without having to do the Bastion. A little bit of an optimization. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to equip life gear on. So life gear you get from stage one. But hey, this is really cool. For whatever reason, at the end of chapter two, we get a full set of life gear. And we're going to put that onto, well, most of it on the War Priest. So 
in normal campaign, when you defeat the boss, and only in normal, you'll get specific rewards. So we got War Priest um, from the first one, and the we got the attack here. Oh, we got oh, free champion. Um, and then in the second one, we're going to get life gear. We'll get some books later on. We'll talk about. We get champions later on. Okay, here's our boss of chapter two. Whoa, scary stuff. Smicky smash. Boom! One shot. Beautiful. Oh, by the way, the story in between. We could have done, like, voice acting and stuff. We didn't. Okay, so we get a full set of life gear. Here we go. We start chapter three. We're now going to champions, and we're going to go on to our war priest, and then we're going to put on life. So we're going to upgrade this to level eight. And we're going to put the helmet, the gauntlets, the chest plate, and the boots on. And that's going to be able to unlock a mission later on. So we already picked up some quests. In the game, you've got daily, weekly, monthly quests. Um, and then those are like different things. So it's like summoning champions, uh, leveling up champions, doing certain things with champions. It's that kind of stuff. Um, and we just need to do certain things along the way. So one of the missions, which are different from the from the quests, is that they scale as you go along. So it might start with equip four life gear items and then upgrade four life gear items. Um, go and do some dungeons. It might be get you know a certain champion from three star up to four star. Uh, okay, I put that and we'll get the chest plate on. So you can see on the left, I just unlocked something. I didn't even notice what it is, but it's probably getting something to level four or whatever. So I'm incrementally choosing to do things at a certain point. Uh, missions are a bit weird compared to your quests because um, after a certain point, they stop updating automatically or they very discriminately update automatically. So there will be a bit in the run after a couple of chapters where we're exclusively just going to go in and out of... Um, in and out of missions and just do one mission, one mission, one mission, one mission because you can't actually complete the requirements for the missions in advance and then be able to do them. It's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. So here we go. We're going to get level seven. Fail. Level eight boots. Beautiful. Go out of that. Equip those. Okay, so we've now got those four on and then we're going to just do level three. Oh, I should have sold my artifacts. Oh, no, it's fine. You don't get that much money. We probably didn't get many drops from, from Champion Stage 2. And we're going to sell stuff later anyway. Like I said, it's just to get some money as it is. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just crack on through Chapter 3. Um, exactly the same way as we did before. So we can talk about some of the other things that we haven't hit on yet. So I talked about affinity. So why do we care about what our champion affinities are? Why does it matter whether they're blue, red, green, or purple? Well, uh, I've forgotten what kind of thing it is. But basically, some are weak or some are strong against others. Um, so what I can show you is here. You can see this little dial. Blue is strong against green. Green strong against red. Red strong against blue. Purple is actually neither strong or weak against anything. That's void affinity. So generally speaking, people will often say void champions are the best. Um, and the reason why they could be perceived that way is because they don't have any negative affinity, they don't have any, any things like that. So you're never going to be able to do your bonus damage and things like that to avoid affinity. Each chapter in the campaign has kind of like a bias towards certain ones. So you can see like all those were, were spirit affinity, I'm spirit affinity, so I don't do more or less damage, I do normal damage. Um, the blue one, blue is good against, or red, I don't even remember what it is, doesn't matter. I'm one-shotting everything at this point anyway. It'll matter later on. Um, so you'll also notice that like I'm autoing in two times and through all the stuff at the minute. There will come a point in the run where I will manually take control, uh, where some of the fights get a little bit tricky. Um, so right now, I can pretty much steam through things up until the end of chapter six or so. Oh, damp here. But for now, we're okay. Um, so what can you get when you defeat rounds and stages of combat? So what will happen is at the end of a stage, you can get different things. So each chapter has a certain type of gear. So the first chapter is life gear. The second chapter is attack gear. The third chapter is defense gear. Changes as it goes on. And the enemies will drop a type of gear. And the gear can be anywhere from level one, or like star one to three star in the normal campaign. Uh, we generally don't really care about that. We will actually be farming stuff later, but right now, we're not that fast. Whoa, chapter three complete, huge win, next. Chapter four introduced, wonderful Song Wukong start. Hooray, oh, we've got a daily quest, good stuff. So now we're in Durham Forest, and we're gonna carry on and just mash through this. So, 
not only can you get the one star to three star gear that pertains to that actual chapter, you can also have champions. So a random chance for champions to drop. Now each campaign is a certain set of champions that it can drop. Um, there are ones that we care about and there are ones that we don't. So for example, in chapter one, we could get uh, a, a one of a three star champion called Valerie. She's pretty good. I think she's got like decreased teeth. Decreased attack on the enemies? She's pretty good anyway. I don't remember why, I just know she's got some stuff. That's good. Um, in chapter two, we're not really that fussy. Um, chapter three and so on. A really cool one in chapter nine, we could get War Maiden, who's actually uh, a champion that you will typically take to quite a high level in a normal, normal playthrough, normal game stance anyway. She's very good. Uh, in chapter 11, you can get the Executioner, who's pretty good. Uh, chapter 12, you can get Diabolist, who's a, who's a good speed manipulator, so she can increase turn meter for your team and decrease turn meter for the enemy. Again, speed, very important, so that's quite nice. Um, we also get Guaranteed Champions, so I, I can't remember if it's chapter 5 or 6. We get Rock Tooth. Rock Tooth, sadly, is garbage. So ideally, what we'll do with Rock Tooth is <laughs> sacrifice him. Um, and we'll talk about that in a bit as well. Um, so... So how things work, right? So I've leveled up by using a barrel to get Wukong to level 50. Uh, I get experience from defeating um, different things. So campaign right now is going to be placed with Dean. So we're killing enemies, we're killing bosses, we're defeating things. We get a certain amount of experience which we can level up our characters with as we go. Very cool, very nice. Um, so that's something that we that we you know, we will do eventually. Don't need to do it with Wukong because he's already max level. Um, now what we can do, which is very cool, is there are ways that we can increase our characters' uh, stats other than just equipping and upgrading our gear. So you saw our gear can get to a maximum of 16. For our characters, what you can do is, when you get a character in a max level, so let's take Wukong as an example. So he's level 55 star. Can I get him up to 6 star? Yes, I can. So what you would do is you would get him to max level 50, and then I would need to sacrifice 5 5 star champions and then Sung Wukong will be upgraded, or I can choose to upgrade Sung Wukong. Woo, the the chapter desert. complete, amazing. Woo, we did it. Look, we've got some awesome gear. Cool, we're not going to worry about that yet because we've got to beat Felwyn's gate. Um, and then he becomes six star. But he also, I think it's, is it prestiging or whatever? He goes back to level one. So a level 50 Wukong will actually have better stats than a level one. Like a level 55 star will have better stats than a level one six star, but eventually it, you know, it'll get better. You do want to go up to six star 60s, for your mains, like absolutely, it's going to be important. Um, so, my other champions mostly are going to be three stars. So, one thing that I will aim to do because I'm going to get five of them anyway in the run, all I have to do is get one up to like max level, like level 30, and then sacrifice three three stars because it scales correctly. So, level 30, three star, three three stars, four level 40, four four stars, and so on. Uh, I should be able to get my second character up to four stars. Uh, if I do happen to get a lucky drop and I get an epic, then they're already four stars, so we don't have to worry about that. So I could actually end up with like three characters um, who are at least level 40 at the end of the run. Um, there's a tricky thing where when we select our champions, like our final party, as it were, as we collect them on the way, um, we're definitely using some Wukong, we're definitely using Kiel. They're, they're givens, like they're really, really good. Um, the other two will very much depend. So I have already put pretty decent gear onto War Priest. War Priest is going to be a good support. She has a heal, and she can also do increased attack for our party. So you do have buffs and debuffs uh, in the game as well. So that's a, that's a, you know, a cool thing that can happen. Um, so she is reliable if the others are garbage. Um, generally speaking, there are going to be epics that are better than rares because they're a higher star. Not always true. There are some rares that are way better than epics. There are some epics that are better than legendaries. Um, we're not going to discriminate too hard in the speed run. Uh, generally speaking, the reason for us to go for a lesser epic compared to a better rare is that they usually have better base stats. Shoop! Polymorph! Nice. Very, very sexy. Um, okay. So, so that's, that's, that's a thing. So like, you might actually see me level not a very good epic. Uh, the reason for that is going to be because of because of stats. Um, like really, the speed run to get to the end of, of any percent normal, like the normal campaign, is a stat check. Um, they oh hey, we did it! We beat the thing! Amazing! Look how good we are! We're so no, good! We're good. Chapter good six, Pass of Arabia, Song Wukong. Let's go! All right, now very important. We're only going to beat up until stage five of this. Why are we only going to stage five? Um, because. Uh, stage 6 Wukong doesn't guarantee defeating all the enemies. No. 
why have we only used him this point? Well, we already said he's really good. Um, he's got the AoEs and things like that. He also has an absolute baller extreme ability where he can steal the buffs that enemies have and take them uh, and put them on himself, which is great. So if an enemy is unkillable, he gets rid of their unkillable, meaning they can die, and then he gets the unkillable, which means he can. Very, very cool. Um, okay, so we're now on... Stage 3. Very important. You need to pay attention. No. The other thing is that you get a certain amount of stars per stage depending on how you beat it. So if I have one or two champions and none of them die, I get three stars. If I have three or more champions and none of them die, I only get two stars. Three is the highest ranking. Okay, four. One more after this. Um, if a champion dies, I lose a star. So by having one champion and him always winning, I am guaranteed to get three stars. Now, you do get champion rewards based on a cumulative amount of stars. So I've basically been farming them, and that's what we're going to capitalize on next. I'm going to collect all my campaign stars. So one more stage. So, so far we've done six campaign chapters, and we've gone up to seven stages on the first five, and now that we're on six, we're going up to five. So someone can do the maths on that. What's it? Three times seven is 21. 21 times five. Somewhere like, we've, I don't know, we've got like 110, 115 stars. I don't know, something like that. Very nice. Okay. So it's important that I don't go back to the, the Bastion now. We're going to go to the map. Okay, so 15 gets us the star. We get gems, experience, more silver, more gems. Okay, Ancient Shard, huge. The Ancient Shard, we, oh, 120. There we go. That's how many it is. Okay, so now we're going to go to the missions and we're going to start collecting. Collect this, collect this, collect this, collect this, collect this, collect this. Okay, use four experience brews at the tavern. Right, let's go to the tavern. Here we're going to level up. We're going to level up Kiel. Why? Because he's so good. Uh, so we're going to go there. We're going to da 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 da. Uh, we're going to go Kiel. Magic. We're just going to maximize. Boom, level 30. Huge done. Mission. Collect. Summon five champions. Well, it's a good thing that we just got five mystery shards, but I can summon ten at a time, so we're going to do ten. Collect. Go to stage one or high of the arcane keep. Click go. What's the arcane keep, I hear you say? Uh, it's a thing. Okay, so again, we're only going to use Wukong because he's still he's still better to do. We also have to reset our auto in times two. Let's talk about dungeons. Woo, boy. Okay, so... Dungeons are a separate thing from the campaign. In a dungeon, you've got affinity dungeons. This is the Archean Keep. This is going to get us white potions. Um, no matter what, if you're upgrading a particular thing for your characters, you need a minimum amount of white potions, okay? They come in three types. Normal, upgraded, like there's lesser, normal, really good, whatever. Greater, super, there are three. That's all that you need to know. Um, it doesn't matter too much what I get, although if I get tons, I'll be able to do things. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through all five of them. So the first one is this guy, and we need to get to stage three. So we're going to beat him. Then we're going to go to the Void Keep. And we're, the, because Void has got that affinity thing, I only have to go to stage two on the Void Keep. Then we're going to go to Force, Magic, and Spirit. Why? Because it's the quickest to click through. So... We're about to take down stage three. Very nice. And you'll see I've been getting potions at the end of it. So now we're going to go to map. We're going to go to void keep. We're going to start and do exactly the same thing again. So void keep, we only need to get to number two. Now, what can I use potions for? Well, right now I'm doing it to clear the missions so I can get silver, energy. Um, I can get um, experience levels and stuff like that. Really, really nice things. Um, but also, I can use these potions to um, ascend my champions. So, for example... A three-star champion, the first time you ascend them, they might need, like, two lesser potions of their affinity and two lesser arcane potions. And then what does that do? It just increases their base stats. And you can do that as many times as they have a star, basically. So a five-star champ, I can ascend five times. Three-star, I can ascend three times. Every time you ascend one time, the price goes up. So I might, and I very much mean might, uh, be able to ascend some Wukong one time. That's unlikely. I do intend fully to upgrade heal once, and potentially one or two of my others another, another like once. Yeah. So generally speaking, if I can get all four of my champs ascended once, great stuff. If I can get two or three of them, good. Uh, I will take the time later on, if it's if I'm, I'm one potion short, to actually farm one to do that, just so I can get the like the, the flat upgrade uh, or flat increase of stats. Okay, wow, level 16 already, incredible. Uh, so there is another thing that we do get, which is um, level-based experience wards. So every five levels, we're able to claim stuff back. Um, so in this speed run, like for this, we're only going to get to level 20. Okay, so this is the force keep. Level 3 complete. Uh, it's worth saying, Force is the, the, the least likely, in my experience, uh, for things that we're going to be able to get. So typically, Magic is like the most common type of champion that you're going to get. Um, 
So we only have like all the four starters are all magic. So like heal is magic affinity. Sun Wukong's obviously spirit affinity. War Priest is spirit affinity. Um, I don't often get a force affinity champion in runs. Um, I just feel like they're either the fewest amount of them or they just they they're you know, they just drop less or whatever. So we're now on stage two. We need to get through stage three of magic. And then we'll do the three stages of spirit. And then we're going to go back to the, the Bastion. And we're going to collect and, uh, and upgrade some of our characters. So we're, we're going to start the Ascension bosses, um, if we can. Uh, each of the affinity bosses um, have got nifty little um, quirks to them, I guess. Arcane's just a dude. He's pretty normal. Um, the quirk with the spirit one is that she's got like a continuous heal, which is pretty wild. So every turn or... Generally, whenever her ATB or turn meter fills, um, she'll get a pretty crazy heal that gets higher and higher over time. So you, you would want to put a, um, a debuff on her that stops her from being able to heal or even do like a reduce heal on her. Um, so like if I just kept going up the stages, eventually her and I will get to an impasse. She's going to kill me eventually because she keeps healing and I can't out DPS her. Um, the magic one has got a shield, so that was like the gray thing. So if you see gray HP at any point, that's a shield. So we saw her heal. Um, and then there, she's dying. Okay, stage two. We're almost getting back to the Bastion. Uh, so that's, that's you know, a kind of thing to think about. Um, I don't know what Force has, honestly. You know, I'm sure you'll have something. Void will have something as well, but... Spirit and Magic are the ones that have the most standout, like, obvious, like, HP effectors. Okay, so stage two, and then finally stage three. Alright, so then we're going to collect this, we're going to get some stuff, and then the next thing we're going to do is go to the arena. We haven't talked about the arena yet, that's going to be pretty cool. So, first of all, let's collect our missions. Okay, take her down, take her down, take her down. Boom! A little heal, no problem. Staff of Wonder, decent damage, not bad. And there we go, we take her down. Okay, back to the Bastion. So, uh, oh yeah, you also get like pop-ups a lot, Rhea, like Clarion wants you to buy stuff, it's whatever. Okay, so we've done this, collect this, collect this. Okay, so now we want to go to da -da -da -da, progression rewards and we want to claim all. Okay, so progression rewards, not there. Progression rewards, boom, boom, boom. It wasn't even lit up, didn't even know I could get my gems, but guess what, I can. To the cavern, okay, so kill, and we're going to go to upgrade skills. Books, what do books do? Um, all of your abilities can be upgraded. Um, so you can see one out of six, one out of five, one out of six. So that makes them do better things. A sand, what's this? You I've got enough potions to be able to upgrade. Let's say sand kale, huge. All right, back to the mission. So let's collect on our thing. Get a referral link. Let's get a referral link. Ba boom, there's a referral link right there. Right, done. Wait, let, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, come on, pop up. Next, thank you. That's my referral link. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, what? We're okay. Game. Game. Thank you. Okay, we got a referral link. Terrifying. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to go fight an arena and we have this to do three fights in the arena. First this thing, we have to go through some tutorial stuff. So we have to set our party. Uh, you do actually get a thing for setting four people in the arena, which is why I'm setting four. And then what I'm going to instantly do is get rid of those four because we don't actually need them. Okay, let's fight something. What are we going to do? We're going to use some Wukong. What are we going to do? We're going to kill him. He's really good. <laughs> like, he's, he's super good. Oh, look at that. He won immediately. Great. Okay, let's do another one. What are we going to do? We're going to one shot. With so he's so He's so good. Boom! Yeah, he's incredible. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do one more. Huge. So there we go. We do have three fights. So then what are we gonna do? We're gonna go back to the Bastion, obviously. All right, let's get ourselves back to the Bastion. All right, so let's uh, collect on our missions. Boom, we've done that. Okay, unlock mastery for our champions. Okay, so masteries. What do masteries do? They make you do things better. Okay, so we want deadly precision, five, and we also want to get tough skin, also five. So we actually unlock the scrolls from the last thing. Doesn't really matter. What are we doing? We're getting the abilities. What are we going to do now? We're going to go and we're going to fight. We're going to fight Minotaur. What's Minotaur? Minotaur is another dungeon. So we don't just have affinity dungeons. We have other dungeons. So you've got Spider Queen, Spider's Lair, you've got Fire Knight, you've got Twin Fortress, you've got uh, some Skeleton Dude, and they all give you different things. So the Minotaur's Lair, we get scrolls. Scrolls, we get Mastery Scrolls. And Masteries, there's a whole table of them. Eventually, they cost so much uh, to get through, but we're only going to do this minimum amount here. Um, so there we go, we've just done two fights in that, which is enough to get our thing. So that's all we need to do, so we're going to go back out. So yeah, scrolls good for masteries, masteries, abilities, stats. Right, what are we going to do now? We're going to go to the shop, and what are we going to do? We're going to spend 270 of our wonderful gems. We're going to waste all our gems on getting um, on getting ancient shards. Very important, right? Missions, collect all, collect all. What do we want? We don't care about this. So we've now done that, so we're now going to go to challenges. We're going to collect all of these. So we're claiming, 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 claiming. If you get all of them, 
Oh yeah, we don't have to wait. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Artifacts, claim, 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 claim. This is just things that we've gotten. Dungeons, very important. Why would we claim all of our dungeons? Why did I take all that time to do level three, stage three, stage two? So I can get an ancient shard. What's an ancient shard? Remember, that's what we summon our champions with, three stars or above. Okay, we've done that, right. Uh, what else can we get? We don't need that. Uh, playtime rewards, let's collect all that. Okay, wonderful. We got a mystery shard that does garbage things. We've done that. Tournaments, let's claim everything from our tournaments. What's going on right now? We get energy, we get mystery shards, we get silver, we get bruise. What a bruise do you, they, they make things more more powerful okay here we go let's go what do we got we've got our oh do you know what? i need to, oh it's a stupid thing okay let's leave let, let oh my gosh it's so hard okay so when the game is like oh hey would you like to do a thing and you're like no it's so easy to quit out of the game um so right now there's a there's a preference thing where if i uh, select a certain champion. If I do enough shards, I'm guaranteed to get it. But uh, we're not there yet, so we don't need to worry about it. I want to go here, and I want to claim my extra three shards. Okay, we're going to do five ancient shards. Are we going to see? Are we going to get? No. What we what we do here is we do it the quick way. So the quick way to summon a champion... Okay, oh my goodness, please, just let me... Let... I don't care. Okay. Select them. I don't... Give, just let me go. Okay, so it's actually quicker to go through... Click on summon and check the summons after. Most people, like, summoning things is, like, the most exciting thing. So what you do is, like, you summon um, you summon all your guys and you see who you get while you do it. And you're like, oh, my gosh, did I get this champion? Uh, we're going to find out later. So it's, like, the most unexciting champ, like, like shard opening. Okay, we're also going to do this. So mystery is mostly commons and uncommons. However, you can. Uh, it is possible to get... Um, to get rares so that's why i'm doing them all it's worth doing them all anyway okay so check our rare okay here we go oh my gosh what okay okay so we've got hound spawn so now what i'm doing is i'm i'm actually checking each of my champions to see who's better and who's worse flailer generally speaking um what do you call them uh the dwarfs aren't that great Okay, Frozen ba I know Frozen Banshee is good. So I'm currently on hellhades.com and I'm I'm basically doing like a real quick dirty uh, check on my champs. Elder, oh, is he serious? Elder's trash. Elder is trash, but you know who's not trash? Turlac. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, is make a decision on my on my champions. Okay, do we get anyone? Health? Are you serious? Hellfang, this is this is this is ridiculous. Okay, so um Hound Spawn 2-5, Flailer's Garbage, Frozen Banshee 3-5, hell yeah, Elder 1-5, Turlac 3-5, Hellfang 1-5. Okay, so Banshee is really good, Turlac's really good. Turlac's a defense, so I'm gonna take Turlac instead of um War Priest. Uh in fact, yeah, because they're both 3-5s. Okay, we've got our party, right? We know who we're gonna use. Okay, so what we wanna do is go to Keel, we're gonna upgrade rank. So we're gonna get rid of the ones we don't care about. So we don't care about him, we don't care about Elder, we don't care about by this guy, so now we're going to make Keel a four star. Um, okay, wonderful. Okay, now we've done that. We're going to do the bruise, we're going to max him out, so we'll upgrade level. Um, come on, come on, Keel. Here we go. So we're going to start with our magic potions, max out. Then we're going to go to the other affinities. Ideally, if I can do it with voids. Okay, that's enough. Uh, we don't need to get the super max. Okay, champion three. Uh, champion three is going to be Frozen Banshee. Okay, so da 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 da. Affinity Brew. Magic Champion, not great. Okay, let's use all our things. Actually, what's Turlac? Tur oh, great. So we're going to have. A it's a uh, great. We're going. We're going with an all magic, all or all magic, all spirit, or like half magic, half spirit. Okay, so let's get Frozen Banshee up. Yeah, let's max Frozen Banshee. Uh, okay, g please. Oh, have I got no money? Oh no, I've got money. Can, yeah, give me, give me level 30. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, and then... Uh, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. Right, Turlac. Let's also do the same. Bang, max. Boom. Okay, there we go. Level 30 Turlac. Huge. Okay, so done, done, done. Upgrade ranks. Okay, can we do... Uh, I don't have... Okay, so if I had more three stars, I could sacrifice to get another four star. We don't really care about that right now. Okay, can we... Can we do ascensions? Okay, so I'm one short there. Turlac I can ascend. So let's ascend him. Because we've got that. Okay, Banshee, I can't. Okay, I only need one more. Um, okay, where are we at here? Okay, so I need one green. Can I get, if I do this and this, a Shazam. Okay, we've upgraded some Wukong once. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to go farm uh, in Magic Keep. And I'm going to get one spirit, one Magic Potion so I can ascend uh, Tear Luck up. Um, if I wasn't this close, it wouldn't be worth doing. Um, it's worth saying, by the way. Uh, I can't remember whether it's... Hellfang or Hound Spawn, but one of those is an amazing campaign farmer, uh, like a huge campaign farmer, where they can just like just destroy things really easily. 
Okay, so we're now doing this. We're going to go back. We're going to do some ascensions. And then... Oh, perfect. Okay. One potion's all I need. Like, ideally, if I could get more, that would be wonderful. But, like, I, I, I'm not going to, like, spend so much time that I need to do that. Okay, now what we're going to do is summon as many of these things as possible. There is a chance I get a rare um, from this, but, like, it's not that big a deal. Okay, so now because we've got our four, we've got our summon champions to 25. We get that. So we've claimed everything. We're now going to go to chapter six. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Back to chapter six. Bang. Stage six. Important. Uh, I need to go into my champions because we're no longer using... Um, War Priest, and we're using Turlac as our support. What we need to do is switch the gear out. So we've got a filter, we go into the fitting room. We don't need to go in the fitting room, we just need to select um, things uh, and then equipped. And then what we can do is switch these out. So equip. So I'm actually blowing oh, 10,000 to switch the stuff from War Priest over to Tierlac, but it just gets in the stuff, you know, we want it to be. Okay, uh, so now we're going to sell the, the gear that we don't care about. So sell, blah, 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 blah. Boring, boring, boring. All this, la da 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 da. I think I'm good. because I didn't get the cool weapon. I am going to keep these two. Although there is a user case where I sell them, but I, I you know, I'm going to keep them. I do want them. Okay, so we haven't got. Okay, no war pre support. So champion three is frozen banshee. So we need to get the divine offense. Uh, so we're going to upgrade those to eight, and we're going to equip those. So I did actually do a test earlier where I didn't put weapons and shields on. The thing is, we're going to get rid of these later anyway. We're going to sell them because we're going to get better gear. Um, but because we're not going to start using parties of four, the better my team are, the better my team are. So I'm using, I'm, I'm upfront investing silver that I could use to upgrade gear later in the run. Um, just to get that slightly more damage, that, you know, faster through each of the stages. So overall, it's going to work out for me, but... If I wanted more consistency or safety in the, the longer term, um, I wouldn't be doing this. I would be waiting until that. But I've you know I've decided it's worth it. Okay, so then this is going to be on to so champ three. So I refer to my champions as Sun Wukong, Kale, Champion Three, and my support. Um, so for the purposes of this, it's Sun Wukong, Kale, Frozen Banshee, and Turlac or Tierlac. Uh, okay, so now that we've got our weapon and we've got our thingamajig on, we're going to equip those. And now we can actually start doing stuff. So we're going to go with Sun. So it's leading with Keel um, because he's got that uh, that thing. Why can't I put him on? There we go. So he leads because he's got this. Okay, I'm going to actually, I'm going to waste seconds now to find out. What in the world do you call the stupid thing? Aura. Okay, he's got the HP aura. There we go. Let's not fight. Okay. So he's got the aura that gives us health. So there's no reason not to put him in the front. It doesn't change other things. It doesn't make other people faster unless it's a speed ability and, or speed aura and stuff like that. There. So now you can see I've got my party. Um, and we're going to start like really smashing through. So we get the Sung Wukong AoEs. Heal has an AoE that hits all targets. Then he's also got one that does, I think it's three attacks. And it, it's random who it targets. Jaeger, don't care, he's a one star. Uh, so he can hit all enemies, or he could hit like three separate enemies, or two on one kind of thing. Um, I haven't looked to see what Tierlac and Frozen Banshee's abilities are, um, but I'm sure they're really, really good. Okay, we get immortal gear from this. We're going to get an immortal shield and an immortal weapon, and we're going to put those on Tierlac, and then that way everyone is going to actually have some gear. Woo! Boom! We did it. We win. Yay. They have been bullet on. Okay, we continue. What's this? More story. Slip There's the gear we got. Okay, so. Okay, the game froze. Not a problem. So we're going to go in the champions and our support champion, Tierlac. Boom. And we're going to go... Mouse quicker. Okay. So these are only three-star gear. Three-star gear is actually pretty decent for normal. Um, it's the highest you can farm in campaign. Um, but we're going to get some four-star gear later on. But this is going to be good for us. So we're just going to put this up to level 8 and equip the weapon and then we're also going to equip the shield so the immortal life's good because it gives us i think it uh it gives us healing like like uh, and it also gives us um what is it it's right there it's like what 15 percent heal three turns something like that the um the bear gear that we got gives us a shield i think for three turns i think that's what its feature is um Normally, you'd be expected to know these kind of things. It doesn't actually, you know, we're using them anyway, so it's like I don't especially. Uh, I'm not that fussed as to as to as to what they do, more like that they do. Okay, so now we're going to like just smash through Tilshire, which is like seven, and then we're going to go into the Voldemort Street. So, what do we know about our team right now? We got Veal. Who's this Frozen Banshee? Who's Veal? Ah, it's so good. This is such a bitching party. This is so cool. I love it. Um, like, Wukong and Kale are great, but like, Frozen Banshee, oh, good champ. 
Um, okay, anyway, as I was saying, what do we know about our team? So right now, Sun Wukong has got full set of gear. Kale only has a weapon and shield. Frozen Banshee only has a weapon and shield. And Tierlac has got full armor set and weapon and shield or whatever. So what we're going to do when we get to stage 8 in the campaign, chapter 8 is Voldemort Strait. You get lifesteal gear from Voldemort Strait. Now, what we could also have done is we could have farmed chapter 6. Chapter 6, the Palace of Arabia gets you speed gear. And I've been badgering on so much about how good speed gear is. Uh, and it really, like, speed gear is really good. It's like, it's the most important stat in raid. Speed tuning is very important when you get into the game. However, in the early game, life steal's great because it means when you do damage, you heal up. Um, and in the early game, it's more likely that you're going to get hit than you're going to kill the enemy before they kill you. So one of the really cool things about if you speed tune your team is, if you're fast enough, you can get two rounds in for your enemies one round. And it's like, you don't need to worry about tanking hits if you don't get hit like that's the that's the beauty about it um and you can also apply more buffs so you can apply more debuffs and things like that so it's really good to have um but we're not going to be able to capitalize on that in the speed run uh so instead we're going to favor lifesteal which means that when we do get hit uh, as long as we're doing a lot of damage we'll be able to heal quite a bit back um now certain gears have got certain things about them. Um, so, life, like life sets give you percentage HP for having an amount of your gear equipped. And you need two pieces for each one. So you can have six pieces of gear equipped. You've got your weapon, helmet, gloves, or gauntlet rather, shield, um, chest plate, and boots. Um, so a two-piece set, like life set, if you have three pairs, so you've got six pieces of all life, you get three times that buff. For speed gear, it's pairs as well. So six pieces get you three stacks, um, or three sets. Um, Lifesteal is a four-piece set. So the really cool thing about having the weapon and the shield, so right now, Heal's got an attack set for his weapon and shield, which is a two-piece. So I get that attack bonus. Then when we do the lifesteal, I'm going to get one buff of lifesteal and one buff of attack. Really good. Uh, similarly, the bear gear, I can't remember what it's called. Cruel or something. That's no, not cruel. Cruel we get later on. Whatever it is, it's something. Um, it's a two-piece, so Frozen Banshee gets that buff. And when we get the lifesteal gear for her, she's going to get one set of lifesteal. Okay, there's Rock Tooth. There's our garbage three-star champion that we have to get. Okay, uh, no, I don't care about that champion. Okay, let's set our team again. Okay, so now we're going to start farming. Okay. So, level one we don't care about because everyone's already got a weapon. Stage two is where we farm the helmets. So we're going to farm two helmets. Now, if I was being really fussy, what I would want to do is farm two three-star helmets because the stats for each star are higher. So a three-star helmet's base stats are better than a one-star helmet by a lot. However, we're doing a speed run and we're in a hurry. So we're actually going to accept any gear as long as we get it. So again, what can we get? We can get one to three star helmet, but we can also get mystery shards, which we don't care about anymore. Um, which again, mainly summon common on common champions, can summon a rare, very low percent chance. Um, and we can also get a champion drop that pertains to this uh, campaign chapter. Okay, so there's a two piece headset, good. Or a two star helmet, so that's, that's one, we just need another, and then we move on to stage three. Um, so I need two helmets, two gauntlets, two chest plates, two boots. And then when we get to stage 7, we're going to upgrade them. We want our level 8, equip them, and then that's us pretty much good to go. And that's, that's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for the rest of the campaign. Um, basically, okay, one star garbage, but we'll deal with it. Uh, we are also going to prioritize our gear. So like the highest star is going to go on Kale, and then after that, everything else that's left is going to go on Frozen Banshee. So... Yeah, so once we've got that, we're pretty much good to go. The only reason for us really to go to the Bastion after this is if I get enough three stars. So I just got Rock Tooth. I do have spare three stars, so I can actually get someone up to four star, um, which would be my second four star because Kale's already four star. Um, what I can also do is we're going to get another, another guaranteed three star Elder from the tournaments um, just by playing the game. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get everyone up to four star. The other thing as well is, if I can't get... Okay. 
So that's two... That's one gauntlet drop. We need another one. Um, if I can't get them leveled high enough, it's not worth me upgrading them to four star, yeah? Just getting to four star isn't good enough. Remember, a three star at 30 max level has better stats than a four star at level one. So unless I've got a bunch of brews, an experienced brew just gives you like a lot of experience, and a little bit of silver um, is what it costs. Okay, <sighs> another so a two star and a one star garbage gauntlet, yay! But that's okay because we just we want the gear. The, we want that. We want life steal more than we want stats. Actually, we want stats, but it matters more to have the to have the life steal than it does to have the stats. Oh, look at these shields! Look at these shields! This team is broken. It's so good. Oh, oh is, is that? That's, Heavy poison or Oh, what? No, I don't want Dillmaster. I don't want Dillmaster. I don't want a two-star champion drop. I want... Give me chest plates. Give me chest plates. I don't want champions. Champions and mystery shards. Plates. Whatever. Um, God, Veal. That's so good. Veal and, and shield. Veal means you can't be targeted. It's so good. There's Veal. Okay. Also, buffs and debuffs have got like small versions and big versions. So generally speaking, a three-star chest plate. Amazing. Uh, generally speaking, your rare champions and below will have like the, the lower forms of the buffs and debuffs. Um, so you can get Veal, you can get perfect Veal. You can get like a, like small poisons and big poisons. Um, <sighs> this is crazy. So another thing, uh, we want to we want to be cautious or conscious rather of uh, debuffs as well. So if I had a team and I was really reliant on them using debuffs, debuffs whether they land or not is depending on your accuracy. So, um, I think it's stage 5? It's not till shot. It might be 7 or 5. I can't remember which. I'm really sorry. Uh, but either 5 or 7 has accuracy gear. Accuracy gear is also uh, a two-piece one. Um, but another cha- We don't want champion drops. Welcome to the RNG segment. Um, but what I don't want to do um, is, is ignore that. So if I've got an ability I really want to land. So, like, Keel's got really good poisons. Uh, so I might actually say, well, actually, I want to I want to get like four accuracy pieces instead of lifesteal pieces, so that his his debuffs land. Um, but again, we don't care about that right now because we're prioritizing lifesteal. Um, and and the other thing that's really like that's actually good is that in a in a casual playthrough of Reed Shadow Legends, uh, you would also prioritize lifesteal in normal campaign. Uh, it really is going to be the best thing for you. Um, and, you, and usually you stick with like one really high level character, you farm up your low level characters, you upgrade them, uh, and then you gradually build up your team from there. Okay, one boot. We only need one more boot. One star, whatever. Okay, so then don't forget, when we get to stage seven, we're going to go back to your champions using the quick throw instead of going back to the Bastion. And then for Keel and Frozen Banshee, we're going to get those lifesteal gear pieces up to eight, equip them all, sell all our artifacts. And then I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we're going to beat the boss. But then we're going to go to the Bastion, and we're going to uh, we're going to collect a bunch of stuff. Boots. Oh, three star. Wait, Windows Defender, go away. I don't want to. I don't want Windows Defender stuff. Look, okay, we're back in game. We're back in game. Okay, so Kale. So we're going to remove. We're not going to upgrade it. We're going to remove it. Don't forget, we get the option to destroy or remove. But removing costs money, and I don't have money to spend on it. So here we go. Let's get this up to level eight. Windows is defending me against it. It knows the problem of this game. It's so addictive. It's such a good video game. You should all play it. Don't forget, we're not... I'm just doing, like, donuts outside. Um, not sponsored by Reach Shadow Legends, but if anyone at Playroom is watching, you know where I am, you know where we are. Love this video game. I play it, <laughs> play it for many, many hours. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Oh my goodness, someone has gone like really crazy with their... They're skidding a lot. I need to close the window. It's kind of scary. Um, could you imagine if we got sponsored before the end of the run? That would be pretty amazing. Um, crit rate? Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. Crit rate gloves. And it's crit rate percent. Don't forget, you can get flat stats and you can get percentage stats. Crit rate percent gloves? That is arguably the best stat for gloves. Crit percent. Okay, speed boots. Always speed boots. No matter, non-negotiable. If you're going to put on a pair of boots in Raid Shadow Legends, you put on speed boots. Um, attack percent. This is ridiculous. My gear is so good. I mean, it's a common chest plate. It's got a grey outside. It's not great. Okay, let me. Okay, let me. Let me also clarify. When I'm getting really excited about my substats, like. <laughs> they're not they're not killer make or break but they're actually they're, they're, they're really good for what they are um so yeah um your tip you're gonna get like your your weapon's gonna be like flat attack 
Um, flat stats aren't awful, but generally speaking, like, attack percentage uh, is going to be better than attack. Okay, so now Banshee's going to put on <laughs> all that, that garbage one-star gear. Um, so attack percentage better than attack. Crit percent, crit rate better than flat stats. Speed, <sighs> speed boots, ever. Crit, crit rate. It's 2% crit rate. This is, oh, this is amazing. I love this game. Um, so other things you can do with gear that we're not going to that we can. We can enchant, rework, and ascend. You can see that on the right side. Uh, I can get glyphs in the game which allow me to like boost um, some of my view, extra statty stuff. Wait, hang on. No, 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 no. I, oh, I just clicked away from it. Okay. Um, so I can get like speed glyph, attack glyph, things like that. And I can enhance like by rolling. Uh, so it's percentage chance to roll, um, and I can I can up the already like st like the stats the the gear comes with. Um, you also get different rolls like depending on your st your stats. So you'll see like that was uh, four res. So that's like the highest roll. So I can get like low and high ones. Uh, so one thing you will do a lot when you play the game normally is re-roll for good stats. Um, also, every time you do a 4, 8, 12, 16 upgrade, you can you can roll extra into a substat. So I, if I upgrade the 16, I can get up to, I believe it's four, like, speed rolls. So if I have, like, one substat that's speed, every time I go, like, 8, 12, and 16, I can get another speed roll. So good. You can get, yeah, you can get amazing, amazing stuff out of it. Accuracy, we already talked about accuracy, super useful. Accuracy is amazing. If I was doing the Great Hall, which is a thing from Arena, so Arena is where you fight other people's pre-prepared parties, um, and when you beat them, you get medals, and then if I get enough medals, I am able to... Let me just sell my gear while I'm clicking on all this other random stuff. Okay, let's get rid of all this, just for money. Boom. All right, let's go. Let's take down our final... Final big bad boss, Bad El Kazar, I think it is. I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. We'll assume it is, because that's the guy that does all the life. Or is that the guy in 11? Anyway, it's this guy. No, that's, that's definitely Bad El. Um, okay. So here we go. We're like storming things. You can see if if Kale actually takes damage, because he's actually got more health because of the shield, then it's cool. Look at my look at my team. They're so good. Okay. If Frozen Banshee gets turned, oh, a little bit of a heal. It's not easy, but it's enough. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go to the map. We're going to collect. Oh, what's that? It's, a, it's, it's an accessory. Okay, so we've done that. Back to the Bastion. Okay, challenges. We're going to claim on this. And what do we get? We get a book. What does a book do? It upgrades your abilities. Now we're going to go to the tavern. We're going to go to Kale. We're going to go to Obscured Skills. We've got two books maximum. Boom, we upgrade our skills. Champions. We're now going to check what our ring that we just got was. So here's our ring. It's a barbarian ring. Do we have a barbarian? I don't think we do. Dark Elf, Undead Horde, Sylvan Watcher. Okay, none of our party are barbarians, so it's useless to us. So what are we going to do? We're going to sell it. It's a five-star barbarian ring. What would you normally do? Not sell it. What are we going to do? Sell it. Why? Because we don't care. We're going back to campaign. Where are we at now? Stage nine. Yeah, We're in the so Deadlands. Boom. Leader Kale, Sun Wukong, Frozen Banshee, Tierlock. What are we going to do? We're going to go and we're going to take it down. We're going to we're going to beat Deadlands. It's so good. So you notice that. When we go to the, the, the Bastion, there are different things that have red dots. That's your classic notification you get on your phone. Um, to say, there's a thing that you can do. Uh, some of those might be useful. Some of those we might be waiting on. Some of those we won't care about. So some of it will be like the news. Some of it will be the the like playtime reward. So the first three hours, um, like over a, a period of time, you'll get things like potions and um, mystery shards and little bits and pieces like that. Um, and then when we get to the milestone, like every five levels, we can get extra stuff as well. But we only want to go and do that if it's something we care about. So right now, if we're going to be getting, like, we've done all of our daily quests. We're not going to be able to do any more of that. Uh, we've done all our artifact um, stuff that's worthwhile. In order to do more, we would need to get, like, level 12, level 16 gear. Uh, which we might do really towards the end of the run, but we might not get to. Um, we've done all the dungeon stuff. We've done all the stuff that's worth doing in Arena. We don't get any good buffs from doing more Arena and doing more dungeons. Um, the missions are useless to us now uh, because it's going to be really specific. It's going to get to, like, okay, get, get three life gauntlets from stage four of chapter one. It gets really restrictive at this point, so it's not worth us doing that. Um... We can't do our idle and chase because that's a daily thing. We can't do our daily logging because that's a daily thing. So there's not much we can do now other than get books. 
So again, every time I use a book, I can upgrade an ability. We're just going to be putting all of those in the kill. Um, try and get more of those poisons. So some of the things that books will do, okay? So like I said, most champions have got your three abilities, your A1, your A2, your A3. The most common thing that putting a book in a skill does is reduce its cooldown. So a lot of abilities will have two turns and you can use it again. Your A1 you can use every turn. You just use it off cooldown. A2 and A3 could be three turns, could be two turns. It can be like seven turns if it's a really powerful one. Uh, some of them are crazy. Um, and some abilities, you can use up to like nine books um, to, to fully book out. Oh, oh my, we got War Maiden. We got War Maiden. We got War Maiden. She should, I should be using War Maiden for decreased, for decreased uh, defense. She's so broken. Okay, if I wanted to use her, like she's my CC champ. So I, I, oh, I feel like I would need to switch out Frozen Banshee. So here's the problem I've got. War Maiden's really good, but she's level one three star, and I've got Frozen Banshee who's really good. Hang on, let me. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna search War Maiden and see what her. It's just because she's it, the reason why it's she's so exciting is because she's camping farmable. She's a three five as well. Okay, I'm gonna stick with Frozen Banshee. I'm gonna stick with Frozen Banshee because I've already leveled her and I've already ascended her. Um, this is the problem with getting champions in Chapter Nine, up. Chapter Ten, and on. Oh, what's that? Four star gear. Back what am I gonna do with that? I'm gonna go into champions, my support champion tier lock. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm going to switch them out. Okay, so uh, now what I need to do is destroy this gear that I spent time um, upgrading to level eight, so that I. Oh, I just. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me sell this really quickly. I really stupidly unequipped it because I'm so used to that. Uh, okay, so now we're going to upgrade these to level 8. In fact, I'm actually going to upgrade the weapon to level 12 because this is the weapon he's going to have at the end of the run. Um, but yeah, War Maiden, really, really strong champion. That decreased defense is awesome. Um, realistically, could I get her to third, level 30? Yes. I'm not going to... I don't have... She's, she's, she's Force Affinity as well. I actually probably could ascend her once. Uh, so what we could do is we could look at our we could look at our brews and see, um, but again I've already invested a lot of brews in Frozen Banshee. Frozen Banshee is also a 3.5 rated champion out of five. She's really good. The smart play is to commit at this point. Like if I got Executioner in Chapter 11, if I got Diabolist in Chapter 12, it's not going to be worth bringing them in. It's and unfortunately, but this account having War Maiden is huge. Have, have, the champions we've got are, are crazy. It's really really good. Uh, okay, so now instead of the Immortal set, we're now going to move on to the Divine Life set. Um, so four star, better base stats. Uh, I think this one has life and the shield, although I, again, I don't really remember. So we'll find out soon enough whenever we whenever we click, click away and, and equip it. Um, should be pretty fun. Okay, so here we go, equip that, and then this, upgrade, 15% health. It's really hard to read the things it does. I don't know. Anyway. Ooh. So we're going to get this up to level 8. We're going to equip our shield, and then we're going to, we've already sold our artifacts, uh, and then we're just going to, we're going to go through all of stage 10. And I know what you're thinking, what are we going to do after, or chapter 10, uh, and I know what you're thinking, like, what are we going to do? Okay, let's just quickly, so it's 50% health and 50% shield for three turns. This gear is broken. Kale's not even level 40 yet, that's so funny. Okay, so we are going to go through all of these. And then you're probably going to be like, yeah, but what are you going to do next? You're just going to beat chapter 11. <laughs> That's what you think. Maybe we will. I don't know. Um, okay, so we've already got that. So now I, I know that I have at least three three stars sat in my in my bastion waiting for me. Um, oh, look, we can you can do the gem thing mine. The gem mine's really cool for, I think it's 500 gems upfront cost, and then you can upgrade it two times for like 800 gems. It, uh, AFK farms gems. Gems are the thing that allows you to buy things in the game. So if you need more energy, you can spend gems to do that. If you need silver, you can spend gems to do that. Big waste of them, but you can do it. Generally, you're going to be spending gems on energy. Um, that's, that's the thing that you're typically going to be doing. So AFK farming them, you only get maybe like every time it maxes out, which takes maybe an hour and a half or something like that, you get five of them, but like you know, you're, you're investing a lot up front. Maybe, maybe it's not 800, 800 for a full set of masters. People will tell you like one of the first things you're going to invest your gems in when you play this normally, get 800 of them and your main, your, your, whoever your lead is, max masteries. Why? Masteries are the most impactful thing um, for one character. Very, very good. Very, very important. Okay, where are we at? What? Swords? 
Okay, no. Why am I getting excited about Saurus? Saurus is a two-star uncommon champion. Garbage. However, Saurus has got two abilities. Both of them are AoE. Why do we care about AoE abilities? Campion Farmer, one of the best. If you gear out a Saurus well enough, you can go to the highest difficulty. By the way, normal campaign, not the hardest difficulty. It goes normal, hard, I think it's Brutal Nightmare. Maybe Nightmare Brutal. I can't remember which order it is, but there are four of them. You can do the highest chapter, chapter 12, and the, the most gold efficient stage, three, with a level two champion. Uh, and they can do it in like five seconds because they're only doing AoEs. They go dead, dead, dead. Huge, but again, uh, it, it, uh, we're not gonna. I, I can't showcase anything like that here. Um, that's just not possible. Uh, but that's really cool. What a what an absolute gem of a drop. This is this this run's got it all. This account's banging for an early level account. The only thing that we're really being really wasteful of here. So we used our master barrel to level up some Wukong to level fifty. You could do it normally and keep that barrel for if you've got a legendary or a mythical five star, six star. Um, it's really important, or just save it, like, because you can level by just fighting things. Um, using all the brews, a bit of a shortcut. You can get brews, you can farm brews. It's not incredibly wasteful, it's just quite wasteful. <laughs> a little wasteful. Um, I have been quite reckless with my silver spending, but you can, you can also get that. Um, but realistic, and then I also spent 270 gems buying three ancient shards so I could get three rolls of rares or higher. Um, sadly, we didn't get any legendaries or epics. We just got uh, we just got rares, but that's okay. Um, no, I do think we have enough to be able to turn one of these into a four star. So we are going to be we are going to be doing that. Uh, who am I going to choose? I'm going to choose tier that. Um, the support champion is going to be quite important. A defense champion or a support champion, they're typically the ones that are going to be surviving the most. Um, so having them at a high level and being able to continue to buff or debuff is going to be quite important. So we're going to be banking on that. So you can now see things are getting a little trickier. Now that we're at chapter 10, my guys are already at half health. Yeah, we've even killed the boss, but like, this is taking a while to do. It's not like it's free by any means. Okay, so we've done that. We've got a book. What are we doing now? Hollowed Holes, Chapter 11, Stage 1, B. Okay. No, this is this is where this is where the game gets hard. I say hard. This is this is the first chapter that kind of blocks you. Um, so a lot of force elemental champions. Champions have got defenses, revives, like um, heal buffs and stuff like that. Uh, a little bit tricky. So we actually are going to back out of here and we're going to just we're gonna buff ourselves up a little bit before coming back. We're only doing stage one. Why? Because it gets us the right amount of stars to be able to get. A book, I think? I think a book is what we get from the map. We're going to find out soon when we go to the map. So we're just going to take this guy down. We're going to go to the map. And we're going to see what is the... What have we got? So we've got gems and we've got a book. Yeah, so 180 exactly for our book. Collect all. Back to the Bastion. So we're going to go to our tournament. Um, we're going to claim our free three-star elder. We're going to go here. We're going to go to Kale. We're going to upgrade his skills. Why? Because we've got four books, so we might as well use them. Okay, we've done that. Okay, so now tier lack. Uh, we're going to upgrade rank. So we are, we are going to get rid of the... Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I realized something, and it's really good that I realized. I was like, okay, we should have our elder. We don't have our elder. Why do we not have our elder? Because we're currently maxed. Uh, so we don't actually have enough space. Uh, so I'm just going to use my two-star sniper. I'm just going to level her up with all this food. Uh, stuff that I don't care about. Then he will be waiting for us here. So two stars, three stars. There's our war maiden. There's our rock tooth. Okay, so there we go. There's our there are our are guaranteed um, three stars. What I'm also going to do is just get rid of one more. Okay, why am I keeping? I'm keeping Saurus in the instance that um, you know, this this can't get used. Okay, so now what we can do is we can get tier lack and we can upgrade him. So we don't really care about war priest. We definitely don't care about rock tooth. We definitely don't care about that. The other two are kind of okay. Ah. Oh, this is the one. Okay, no, we're, we're, we're playing for the speed run. We're playing for the speed run. We're playing for the speed run. Upgrade level. Okay, go to your brews. Max our brews. We also have like the right affinity, which is huge. Okay, so now that we've done that and we've upgraded everything, we just let's just let's just give him everything we can. Uh, we're just gonna put everyone as max as possible. So he's 35 out of 40. So we're just gonna feed him these one-star champions. We're gonna keep our Saurus. Why? Because we can. Uh, I can also turn thingy like sniper into a three star, and then we've got oh, we have three three stars, but I don't have enough. I don't have enough stuff. That's the important thing. I don't have enough stuff. Um, 
Okay, let's just, just, just get rid of them all. I am keeping Saurus because I want to. Uh, and we are going to keep War Maiden and we are going to keep Hounds. It's so stupid too. I could turn, right? I could have turned Sniper into a three star. Out of three stars, we could get rid of that for Cold Banshee to get her to a four star. Um, okay, so now doing this. I don't. This is pointless. This is so stupid. This is just for money. Well, we're going to, we might use it later. Okay, right. Let's go back. We're, we, need to, we need to continue the campaign. We don't need to be clicking on extra things that are there but just because they're available to us. Okay, stage two. Right, now we're going to be chapter 11. Um, oh, if you click on an enemy, it targets it. So you do it. Okay, so basically, now our tier lack is 37 out of 40. He's a four star. He's even stronger. Uh, we did four books on Kiel, so his abilities are even better. So I, I was talking about booking earlier on. So one of the most common things that you get from books is turn reduction. So a five turn ability can become a four, three, two turn ability. Amazing. Really important. Um, another thing is that either you might go from a weak ability to a strong ability. So Ballad said about the weak to decrease defense to a strong decrease defense and Threat Ascension for War Maven. Um, buffs can also have that. Um, and then you can also... Yeah, so things can 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 become stronger and then you can also reduce the that. So Keel, like we can get more poisons out of him, which is really, really nice. Like his poisons are the main reason to use him other than having his AoE. So all the starter champions have an AoE. Uh, if there's a, a question about which is the best starter champion, 90% of people will tell you Keel. Um, long term, he is the best. He's out of the way, he would be the best champion farmer. He's got the AoE, he's got the poisons. Uh, there's another thing that we're not going to do uh, called clan boss. You can join a clan in the game and you can do clan versus clan where you have to do like certain like missions basically or certain things uh, and see who gets the most clan points and then you get rewards. Yay! That's really fun. There's a clan shop. If you do certain things, you get coins and you can spend them on stuff. Yay! Um, and then there's the clan boss. There's actually more than one. So there's um, Hydra's the newer one. I think there's a, a third one coming soon. Um, and then there's the original one that I can't even, why I can't remember, what, everyone just calls him Clan Boss. I can't remember if he has a name or not, I'm sure he does. Um, but a, a big thing for that fight is getting debuffs, uh, or getting poisons. Poisons are really good for Clan Boss. So Kale's great for that. Uh, there's another thing in the game that we're not doing called Doom Tower. Uh, so it was released over a year ago at this point, I'm sure. And that's that's an interesting one. So you climb the tower, um, each, you know, the tower is basically a ladder, and then like each stage. Uh, along the way, and you get Demon Lord is the name. Thank you so much. Um, so you've got um, bosses every ten floors, and sometimes you'll have secret rooms, and then you'll also have like conditionals. So it might be you're only allowed to use rares. You can only use one type of affinity. You can only use attack champions. Um, so it really tests your your ability to be able to go through things. So you get really good rewards from it. Another thing we'll not be doing is faction wars. So that is actually based on. Uh, the like race or um, faction that your characters are part of. So, for example, Kale is a dark elf. Um, Tyrlak is part of the the Silver Watchers. So you've got maybe oh, I don't know 15 or so um, different factions. And then in faction wars, again, you're only allowed to use that faction, and you go through stages, and then there's a specific boss for that. And again, you can get glyphs from that. Yay! You also get um, uh, I forgot what you call them, but it's it's a particular component that you use to upgrade um, gear. So we talked about farming gear from the campaign. So I can get pieces from the campaign. So like my life steer gear, my speed gear. I can also get it from certain dungeons. So like the dragon that we fought right at the beginning. That's a dungeon and you can get gear. But I can also craft it in the forge, but I need the right pieces to be able to do that. Um, okay, so this is the boss of, of chapter 11. This actually went incredibly well, but we know we already know we've got a broken team. Uh, but you did see that uh, Frozen Banshee just got taken down there. Okay, so we've got Cruel what Gear now. That's what we just got from the end of that. So now we're going to go into our champions again. And for the last time, we're now going to remove... We're going to destroy... No, we're not. We're not going to upgrade it. We're going to destroy. Um, we're going to switch out the bear set to the cruel gear three star to four star four stars better better stats uh also i think cruel does something to do with enemy it ignores enemy defense by a percentage something like that it's pretty good gear um so we are going to get the, the shield up to eight again and we're going to get the weapon up to 12 and then we're going to carry on from there now, uh, this is where this is where like the fun begins. So we do have books that we could put onto Kale. We do have some things we could collect where I could get more stars um, and things like that. Um, 
on missions and I can get more silver. I can maybe upgrade some more stuff. Uh, but there is a world where if everything goes well, we can speed rush to the end of the game. So what we're going to do once we get this equipped is we are just going to go bang, 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 bang and see if we can beat um, the final boss of campaign, chapter 12, stage 7. Um, so here we go. We've now got our equip on. I am actually going to do a sell just in case uh, we lose and we have to go back and do more stuff. But here we go. Here's our party. You can see our reserve champions are like really low in that there. Chapter 12 is easier than chapter 11, generally speaking. So we should be able to get through each of the stages quite easily. I got that. Poison. I love the frozen banshee. has got poison. This is so, this is so crazy. Um, so I guess now that we're, get, we're, we're very sincerely getting to the end of the game, um, two things. So number one, if we beat the, the campaign boss, great, that's the run, huge. Um, if we get close but lose, I'm, I might just do it on manual um, and see how that goes. Because um, it's probably worth resetting on just the final fight, then spending time gearing up again and then going back in, even for the higher likelihood. Um, so there's that to consider. Uh, if it goes badly, then I might just gear up and go in again. And then the thing that people are probably most thinking about is that um, the estimate for this run is six hours. I haven't got the timer. I can't see. I don't know where we're at. Um, but I have a sneaking suspicion we're at slightly under the six hour mark. Um, the reason for that is that when I submitted this run, the world record for this category, and I say that very seriously because I'm the only person that's that's run it, um, officially is like a 4.30. Um, my... My... Average time was anywhere from like 5.30 to 6. I have had a run of this game that took 8 hours. Um, but there have been a couple of things that have happened since then that have uh, <laughs> fundamentally altered the run. Um, and there's, a, there's an argument case for sure as to whether they should be allowed or not. Um, so one of the things is that you've got the limited Call of the Arbiter. You watch a video, you get 50k silver. You share it, you get a bunch of gear, right? You get gems, you get energy, you get multi-battles, you get experience. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's really good stuff you get from that. It says limited, it's been out for over a year. Whether or not it's gonna be around forever, I have no idea. Um, it has a huge impact, yeah? There are things where without that, you wouldn't get enough gems to be able to buy the three ancient shards to get your like to get a pretty good party after doing chapter five, chapter six. It would be pushed back, and then it would be you know it would just take longer for things to. Happen. Um, as well as that, like free promo code. So I'm getting Sun Wukong as a promo code, which didn't exist when I had my my four and a half hour run. Um, you know you, that wasn't a champion at the time or a free champion. Uh, at various times, the promo codes change. There's definitely an argument case that promo codes shouldn't be allowed um, because they change over time. They become expired. You get good champions, you get bad champions. Right now, this is a great champion to have. I get the master. The, I get the 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 master barrel to be able to fully upgrade Sun Wukong. He's a legendary five star. He's really good for campaign. He's really good for the run. Um, you know, and and right now, because you can guarantee it, it's absolutely wild. Um, so just so that you got you know, hopefully you got you the vibe. We're coming up to the final stage now. Um, so get ready on time, potentially, if I beat the final boss. So this is, this is round three of stage six out of seven. So here we go. Look, my guys are getting absolutely smashed. So you can see things are getting a little bit tricky at this point. Okay, here we go. Final stage. Okay, I see that Yugachi's not in the channel that I'm in, so maybe we're not ready on time. Okay, okay, I, I, well, whatever. I don't know what it's gonna be. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, everyone's alive. Everyone's at full health. This is just broken. This is busted. This is gonna be an amazing run. Okay, get ready. Get ready on time. Get ready on time. Second ad. Oh, oh okay. Banshee's taken down. Not great. Health's fairly low. He can one shot. Okay, this is this is okay. We're doing okay. Oh, I think I think Kill's gonna win it for us. Oh, this is this is guaranteed. Time. We did it. We did it. That's the run. Is anyone is anyone marking time? Did we get time? Yeah, we did. I want to know. I want to know the time was because that it I, is I, one seventeen oh four. By the light of Luma, the cup That's world record. The guardians of Sir <laughs> I just beat world record. <laughs> by world record is one seven or one thirty six thirty six right now. <laughs>
that's that's world record by almost 20 20 minutes that's insane that was such a good run let's go that was such a good run all right and then what do we get as a reward for beating the normal campaign we get a void shard so obviously the thing to do when you when you beat the game is to reward yourself by opening the void shard and seeing who you got so we can obviously set this to our legendary and our our epics so void the only thing that's good about this i say good about it is the affinity so here are our drop rates so void shard 91.5 percent rare eight percent epic not 0.5 percent legendary um same for the ancients right um, so for the Ancients, sadly, we didn't get any epics, we didn't get any legendaries. So maybe we can round off the run with, a, uh, with either an epic or legendary void, which would be absolutely insane. So here we go. This is what it's all for. This, I sh ignore, okay, normally when you're pulling, you pull on two times, which is that you get a two times chance for epics and legendaries. But uh, today is not that day. So here we go. Okay, it's a rare... <laughs> Cage bind! Woo! <laughs> really, really exciting lizard man champion there. Um, cage bind is a 2.5 rating on Hell Hades. Um, yeah, what's he? What we got? Okay, as A1 shield buff on on this champion, 10% from max HP. A2 tax all enemies, 70%, 25% decrease attack. A3 is an ascended skill, so I can't even use it until I've ascended him to three. Ally protects. This guy's garbage. This is a this is a garbage champion. Um, so there we go. So I can just get rid of the red dots now. Uh, the index one is where all my champions are, so it takes a bit of time, so I can't be bothered. This one I can just get rid of gear. Uh, well, there we go. So um, so here's here's the quest. So so we've obviously got um, what four hours, uh, four and a half hours left of the estimate. Is that right, give or take? Mm -hmm. That is correct, yeah. Um, so what we can do uh, in the interest of the event is... I, I, this is, I almost want to be like, let's just leave it there. It was so good. A 117? Absolutely insane. Um, so what we can do now is we can do a fun run um, that's going to be longer than 1R17. And we can collectively as a community and a people uh, decide on champions and gear sets and stuff and do just do a, just do a bad job of what we've just done oh, lady mikage she's so good um oh i'd love to tell people more about the game but i i, I should not wax lyrical about this 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 scam of a gacha game unless we're getting sponsored in which case i love i love this game plarium are my favorite company please give me money here at themathon.com all right we've got <laughs> rid of the red dots um okay like, should we should we go straight into it, Yugachi? So, the plan is right now, uh, as first of all, thank you very much for running the game. So, the, the plan is right now, we're going to a short intermission, which is like a minute or two. And then we're going to, quote unquote, end the marathon here. And the fun run will be a bonus run. Um, because we want to reveal what the next theme is. Because for the next marathon, we actually have a theme. And we want to show you when it happens so you're gonna see a small video that we made <gasps> um and then after that we every one runner from this marathon can join the discord in an open mic where we can be like four or five people and metaku is explaining us what to do what we can do and decide and we can basically force him to do things in the game in the next run and that's the bonus run and then on top of that we have some other things planned for the run that he probably doesn't know about, but <laughs> oh, sure, okay. We're gonna do that as well. So um, yeah, we go into a one minute uh, intermission, and then there's the grand reveal. What is gonna happen next? We'll see you in a bit.